Hey guys, um, I have done a few updates on these, but people want to know what's happening now. I hate to say it, but Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez, even before they actually married, I just said I don't see it ending well or lasting long, okay? And obviously there's a lot of naysayers because a lot of people want that, you know, it's like reminiscing of when they were together and they get back together. It'd be like Brad Pitt and Jennifer Aniston getting back together in a way. People want them, wanted them back together. They wanted the love story. It gives people hope. So I get why people were saying, no, it's never going to happen. They're, they're madly in love. But it's not looking good, is it? So let's just see the current energy. I want to know how Ben feels. Oh, God, I don't want to hear that word. I did hear relief straight away. Relief. Relief. On his way out. Announcements. Are they going to make an announcement soon? Now, like I said, even before they got married, I said the cards, they're rushing it, they shouldn't go ahead, it's not going to end well, they're going to separate. So I kind of know it's coming, you know, but it's just wondering right now how they feel about each other. And remember I also said in the last reading a few months back that they were going to have one last chance as well to, to try and make it work. So before they actually broke, they were going to have like the last chance saloon, I hear. The last chance saloon. I'm wondering if that's now. I'm wondering if her being abroad, like going away for three weeks, is giving them space to reconsider things, you know? That's why he's still wearing his wedding, wedding ring on and off. Now let's just see. Let's just see. Ben, how does Ben feel about Jennifer Lopez right now? Ben, how do you feel about her right now? Not happy. Not happy. Four of Cups, low moods, feeling pessimistic, not happy in this connection. Not happy. Can't see the positives here at all. He's just not happy. He's not happy in the connection. He's not happy. Forced. Forced. I think a lot of it as well, which I get, if you've ever been to a party with your partner and they're a bit moody and you don't want them showing you up or embarrassing you, you're like, God, can you just cheer up a bit? You know, just smile a bit. You meet my family or friends. That's very normal. But I hear forced. So with him, Ben, it's like he feels forced to do it, not as a one-off, but continuously, and it's getting to him. That was a big, big thing as well. The playing the happy families. It's just, it's just no. It's just no. Do you know what? I'm just picking up. This is so random, guys. I didn't see the documentary she did, she did where apparently he wrote her loads of love letters when he was married to Jennifer Garner, which, to be honest, sounded really disrespectful to say that then and there. It, I don't know. It just, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't great. But I do get the documentary, Ben wanted to actually be more real and actually, I don't know if this has happened because I haven't seen it, wanted to actually show the issues they have rather than glossing over everything. He wanted to be real and realistic and show the challenges of the relationship they had, but she wanted to gloss it over as a fairy tale. This has caused problems as well. It's almost like, this sounds bad. When you have like a premonition that things are going downhill and you know, you don't, you don't want this video going out because you just don't think it's going to end well because you don't know how long you're going to be together for. That's the kind of energy I'm getting. That's the kind of energy I'm getting. And this was back then. This is back then when she was making the documentary. So already that's that shaky ground. Looking into the money here, seven of pentacles is the financial payout, the stability of the relationship, the balance being off. So staying in a lot of it as well, guys, splitting the finances is going to be a nightmare for them. Now, I know they're already setting, um, trying to sell their properties, even the artwork they've got. It's like the balance is off when it comes to the money and breaking up this connection. I feel that's why they are actually, it's dragging on and on and on right now. The hanged man letting go, arguments, fighting, him being extremely defensive. He's not backing down from this. So she calls him up on anything and says, well, you know, you could have done this more, done that more. He's not having any of it. He's got his guard up. He's over. He's kind of over it right now. Emotionally distancing himself, five of pentacles, walking away, not giving her the time of day, moving away, moving away. It's not looking good from his side, from his side. Let's see her side, okay? Let's see her side. Jennifer Lopez, how do you feel about Ben Affleck right now? How do you feel about Ben Affleck right now? How do you feel about Ben? How do you feel about Ben? How do you feel about Ben right now? What's the energy, Ben Affleck? How do you feel about... Oh, no, that's not good either. That's really not a good card. Eight of Cups means emotionally distancing herself, moving away, walking away right now. She's actually walking away as well. So maybe that is why she's been overseas. That's her moving away, moving away from him. 
Page of Wands energy, the Strength card. Arguments, battles, lawyers. It's more than just those two arguing. There's other people being brought into it. This is like the not arguing between two people card with this Five of Wands. This is multiple situations going on behind the scenes with lawyers, things like that going on as well. The strength, she feels she has the strength to overcome this. We have the lover's energy, the magician. Every reading I've done on them, it shows they had a fantastic sex life. The lover's, the magician. It's like the success they had is the passion. She still feels the passion, the sex, the chemistry. I think Gwyneth Paltrow said Ben Affleck was the best lover she ever had as well, okay? But when it comes to that, it's like that chemistry. Every single time I said to you guys in the readings that they're going to divorce. It doesn't look good. The main thing they've got is the passion and the chemistry and the sexual. That That's that's just there. That's still there. She still feels that. She still feels that with him. That sexual connection. It's just not looking good. She still has hope. I do believe she still has hope. Make or break. I keep hearing make or break. For me, make or break is her going away, taking that distance, taking that time out, giving him some space, not living in each other's pockets. You make her make him miss her, that kind of energy. Make him miss her. Make him miss her. Get the balance back. Time. Yeah, look. All these energies, the hermit, her taking time out from him, then hoping the balance is going to come back. And if they have a reprieve from each other and the page of cups, are romantic flirty messages again. The love, reaching out to an ex, somebody you're not with currently, somebody that's like you already know in your... It's Ben. It's Ben here. This is Ben. This is Ben. Now, let's just pull a couple of cards for both of them for the coming months. I have no idea if this is the complete break now or this is what I said where they're going to take a make or break kind of energy, kind of time apart and then get back together and then break up, if that makes sense. So, let's see. What's going to happen in the months ahead between them what's going to happen i keep in close what's closed door policy what does that mean closed door policy how does that link in closed door policy i do feel that's something to do with if you do hear about it it would just be in the paper it's again it's that kind of sense that they're still wearing their wedding rings on and off they may not be together all the time you've got all the rumors and everything but closed door policy they're going to leave it to the last minute eggs in one basket so until everything is actually finalized and financially they're both okay and everything's good that's when they make the announcement they're not just gonna willy-nilly and just put it out there which is i think why they're still saying they're kind of together or seeing with each other but everyone's saying they're selling off their house they're selling off their property she's looking for her own house they're waiting let's see what's going to happen in the months ahead what's going to happen in the months ahead here it's all about the finances again all about the finances, balancing in again. Sorry, guys, it's hard for you to see because it's really bright here in Sweden right now, where I am by the window. Um, balances, everything's to do with finances, making sure it's evened out, everything's even, everything's fair. Everything's financial. Everything's financial. And what about the months ahead? Difficult decision for her to make. Does she want to keep going? We have the kids here as well, as well, the children. And we also have healing. And is she strong enough to make it through? She still believes that they can still make it through. The marriage, marriage card. Two of cups. She still believes it's a soulmate. She still believes he's a soulmate. The marriage card here. She doesn't want to let it go. If anything, I feel this could be, like I said, the make or break kind of itch situation right now. I would even go as far as saying they could actually split and live separately, but still try and make it work for a while. Honestly, it's that sense that she doesn't want to let she doesn't want to let it go. This is a positive positive energy around the marriage. She's not letting it go yet. And then we have this card here, which, like I said, oh, guys, I think they're going to have one more make and break. The cards show what I had last time. OK. She really wants to make this work. But then no matter what happens, we're having the Ten of Swords, which is complete endings to the marriage, and the Tower, everything falling apart again. And I did pick the defensive card again for Ben. Just being like, no, no. So it's not, it's not looking great. I believe now that in that make or break stage, that's why they're spending time apart. And I still feel, even if she moved out and he had his own place, which he's got now, 
they would still try and see each other to see if they can make it work before they actually finalised anything. That's what I feel is going on right now. I don't feel it's going to be good. I just don't. I mean, it doesn't actually take a tarot reader or a psychic to tell you that anyway, guys, but... <laughs> and by the way, sorry, I've also been asked about Biden again. It rarely happens, guys, but I had one or two that were deeply offended with the last reading I did because they said I was biased because I said I would have picked Trump. But I was saying I would have picked Trump based on the cards, okay? The whole point of the cards is to give you guidance. So Trump came up the stronger person. So if I had to choose, it would have been him based on the cards, okay? I don't care about the Democrats or if Biden's in charge of the dog and cat party. I really don't care. I do care about him being on stage. I mean, didn't he just call Zelensky Putin and Trump Kamala Harris? That's what worries me. I don't want him to be humiliated. An 81-year-old putting him on stage like that. It's got nothing to do with the, the Democrats, okay? It's to do with having empathy for the person. It's empathy for the person, you know, like a show pony. That is wrong. That is wrong. If that was my granddad up there, if that was my granddad, I'd be very protective of him. Who's protecting him? Who's looking after him? That's just what I want to say now, okay? Um, so, back to Ben and Jen. I think they're going to have, I think they're going through this stage now where they're going to try and make it work again. This is the last chance saloon and then I don't feel it's going to work out, I'm afraid to say. Um, if you would like me to read for anybody else, let me know in the comments, guys. And if I feel the connection to them, I will pull the cards for them as well. Okay, sending you lots of love, guys. Bye.